Oh no, I've got the frog rock equipped. <laughs> no! What have I done? A welcome to Rut. I can't keep stealing Blue's intro. Anyway, today is Force Wipe. And yep, you guessed it, I'm back on a vanilla official server playing solo on Force Wipe. Yeah, it, it, it does sound like a pretty stupid idea, but today. I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of the secrets that I've learned in my 9,000 hours of solo experience that help me take on the most difficult challenge in Rust. So you've spawned on the beach with nothing but a rock and a torch. You've watched Posty 1v12 on Oil Rig and you're feeling inspired, ready to take on a server solo. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Before anything else, the first thing you need to do is look at the map. See, choosing your base location is the single most important decision you have to make in a solo wipe. Choosing the wrong spot on the map can lead to a week of torture, fighting off every grub and primitive player on the server. Or it can get you immediately wiped off the map by the biggest clan around. So, what do I look for? I want to be away from all the tier 1 zones and all of the fresh spawn locations. That means no lighthouse and no harbour. I also like to keep my distance from outpost, as it can get pretty crazy. On Forcewipe, you're going to need a lot of scrap for components, and so building near a solid monument and recycler is incredibly important. Now after looking at this map, I knew I wanted to head south, down towards launch site and maybe mill tunts. I liked the look of the mining outpost at the very south, and with a rough location in mind, my journey had begun. There it is, launch site in the distance. I'm gum. Annoyingly, I'm like 20 minutes late into wipe, and so it's turning nighttime already, but maybe I can use the dark to uh, help me get where I want to build more safely. After playing a wipe with the greatest solo in the world, Alone in Tokyo, which series will be uploaded for the one mil special, no spoilers, so you better sub now. Well, he taught me something very important. The necessity of dying. While that might not make much sense, trust me, it does. See, as a solo, you are guaranteed to die many, many times. The more you play, the more harsh deaths you'll experience. Which is why the best solos are able to pick themselves up after these hard losses and go again. But with the high probability of dying, one thing's for sure, you're gonna need a lot of sleeping bags. Ow, rads, ouchies. Hmm, I think this side of launch site is a little bit too chaotic. There are a lot of people. I might have to keep going. Hey, okay, we got 50 cloth. You know what? Let's get a bow. I would normally recommend getting a few more sleeping bags first, but I've got one next to launch. I'm feeling okay. This guy's chasing me. What you doing? Crunch! Onwards! I think I'm gonna go south of Milton's. Mmm, cloth good. Alright, let's get a bit of stone. Okay, you got a bag down around here, that is good. But one is not enough, I need more. Let's get another crafted. Nap that horse, I will call you Pickles. Okay, so the mining outpost is up ahead. Down here, there will be no fresh spawns at all. So it should be nice and quiet, but I am near Milton's and launch sites, so busy enough that there'll be lots of PvP. I got a big snowy area to the south for lots of farm. I think this is a good spot. I had found a relatively quiet spot for me to farm some resources, but I was looking to go a little bit closer to the action, at least for my starter base, being able to get lots of scrap quickly. Okay, so I have just gone to the other side of Mining Outpost, so now I'm right next to Launch and Mill Tons. This might be a bad idea, but I should be able to get loads of scrap quick. 
And oh, look at this rock formation. This is perfect for a starter. Right, you know what? I want to have the triangle airlock on that side. Get all of that upgraded. I'll make the frames wood in case I want to replace it with a double door or a garage door later. Roof on, door down. Nice. We are sealed. I think it's always worth going with a 1x1 rather than a 2x2 two two to begin with. It's just a lot more expensive. Ah, actually, you know what? I was going to build a bunker, which means I built this place slightly wrong. I'm going to have to adjust that. Perfect. There we go. Fixed. With a base down, before doing any PvP, you need to first focus on getting farm for upkeep and spare tools, and getting some components for the workbench level 1. Hey, we got a rug, let's go! Best item in the game, after the bear rug, of course. You know what? I'm gonna go home and bank that right now. It's important not to get greedy fresh wipe, you gotta get everything home that you can. Hey, why can't I place a bag? Am I too close to mill tons? Oh, no, wait. Wait, surely not. Oh no, you're joking! <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'm not expanding this base. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Unfortunately, because of military tunnels so nearby, I was unable to expand my base any further. But I was in luck, because I noticed that there was a cave very nearby. Wait, could we be cave dwellers this wipe? Oh, that would be so fun. Maybe it's time. Someone might have already taken it, but I'm gonna have a look. But before I could investigate the cave any further, a fight broke out at Mining Outpost. Oh, Crossy. Ooh, it's a big fight. Oh, I can third party this. Oh god, there's another group coming. Okay, should be one down. Oh wait, no, he's not. <laughs> he's like, wait, what the fuck? Where did that guy come from? Oh, I missed again. Oh, he sees me. One down. Don't know what that guy's doing. One more has he left. He's pushing. Oh, I might be dead here. What? A combo and a bow shot? That guy's got the most health in the game. My first death, but this is where having plenty of sleeping bags comes in. This was clearly a big fight, and I needed to get back right away to try and grub the loot. Oh, that's bad. I'm very, very dead. Best crossy shot ever. Oh, oh my god. That guy's incredible. Sleeping bag OP, I bet. I bet there's loot left on one of those bodies. So many of those players died in bushes. I just have a feeling. Okay, well I got my bow back. Oh my god, these guys would have been absolutely loaded. 60 animal fat though, that's a furnace. Oh, I knew it, I knew there would be loot left over. Oh, no, 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 please. Ah, there's a bear! Wait, oh, wait, it's not chasing me. Oh my god, I think the bear's bugged. Yes, Yogi, thank you! <laughs> So, despite dying twice at the fight, by just running back naked thanks to my many bags, I had come out with a lot of loot. A great start to a fresh wipe. I craft a furnace and got my metal ore cooking. It's so important to get a metal door as soon as you can. And, with the furnace smelting, it was time to go investigate the cave. Alright, what do you reckon? Has someone already taken the cave? Or might I be able to get it? Oh, I hope I can, man. Come on, come on, please. Let's go, we have the cave! Oh yes. Let's build, baby. Wait, what? Is someone coming? Oh no. Not now, man. Revy! Wait. Oh, come on. He's so low. Bro, 
Damn, what is this timing? I think we're okay. No way people are, uh, or Yika raiding, right? Oh, this is scary, man. I don't know why there's a Revy guy already poking around the cave. Wait, this guy is actually properly lurking. This is a bad, bad sign. With some bad timing, just seconds after I built my cave base, and I already had an enemy group camping my door. Being pinned in, I wasn't able to get any more farm to upgrade my base further. I was trapped. Shit, man, I don't even have enough stone to place a wall. This is so bad. What do I do? And as if on cue, even more footsteps return. Okay, well... Fuck, man. Goddamn. I don't think there's anything I can do. Here they come! Headshot. He just hit twice. Bro, how does he not die? Goodbye, cave. And with the cave gone, I returned home to find this. Oh. Uh, I... <laughs> I guess I've been raided. What the fuck? Both bases? In two minutes? That feels weird, man. I've not had that bad luck in a while. Dealing with losses is so important in Rust. In just two minutes, I had lost all of the progress I had made since the start of Force. And even worse, it was most likely due to stream snipers. Would you have given up at this point? But if nothing else, one thing I've learned from my solo experience is the lower the lows, the higher the highs. And I wasn't giving up that easily. <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I need to get back. Give me that pipey. Oh, I'm gonna make the most of that shell. Oh, I still hear them in the cave. Oh, I might be able to make a play here. I'm gonna give it a shot. I think it's worth it. Oh no, I think they took it over. That's so sad. What? Oh my god, that guy didn't die. Damn, they griefed it. Oh, I missed that as well. Oh, if I'd come down a little sooner, I might have got the cave base back. Oh well, I got a crossy. Time to move on. Oh, that's definitely one of them. What? Oh my gosh, my water pipe is not doing any damage today. Yeah, that was one of them. Ooh, give me that shit. You know what? I've now killed two of them. Two full kits. I consider that a win. Oh my gosh, hit me through the bush. I need to win this fight. I could really do with these weapons to get my base down. It's not dead? Okay. Bro, I- <laughs> Why is no one dying? Oh my gosh, two crossy shots, four nails. Oh, the players today. <laughs> he had the bear rug though, let's go. Ooh, this spot's looking kind of nice over here. Loads of nodes, trees, mining outposts right there. I think this is it. After a quick snowball, I built up an inventory of tier 1 weapons. It was time to farm for our second base. Ah, <sighs> like nothing ever happened, right? <laughs> Just edit out the whole part where I get raided, it's fine, no one needs to know. <laughs> Bear rug down. This is already better than my first base. You know, my worst starts have often led to my best wipes, so I'm still feeling pretty good about this one. It's force wipe. I always love force wipe. It's gonna be a struggle. You know, you know it's gonna be a struggle. You gotta live with it. I like this spot too. Every time I've gone to mining outposts, it's had a lot of crates. It does seem to be quite busy though, which means there's gonna be a lot of PvP. And I'm not too far away to go to launch in case I feel like it. But first up, I'm gonna recycle the sheet metal and get a metal door down so I cannot get raided like that again. See, first time around, I got complacent and spent too long with just a wooden door. Getting hit with that reality check of being raided, 
and I was back on track. And hey, maybe I'll live in a cave in the next video. I'm gonna need to get an airlock on this thing, <laughs> it's scary. With a new base down in a location I was happy with, it was time to get to work. And on four swipe, that means grinding scrap. Can never have too many bags. See, personally, I love small monuments like gas stations, supermarket, mining outposts, especially on four swipe on a max pop server. You just get so many crates here so quickly. Oh, someone on the road. Let's get him. Hello? For me? Oh no, Kelly. No. Oh no, I'm so dead. Please don't do me like this. Wait, am I... Am I good? Heli? Oh my god, what the fuck? Nice, we got a couple crossies, got some sewing kits to recycle for cloth, which means more bags, let's go! Nice, good little recycle, let's get that bunch home. Small gains, small gains, you need everything you can get. I am pretty sad I just had someone outside. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to risk opening that door. I'm going to check from the outside. I might be completely wrong and this is stupid, but I think. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> how, how long do you reckon before he realizes I'm standing right behind him? <laughs> yes. Hello. <laughs> what an idiot, man. This fucking dude, man. <laughs> Wait, that wood's gonna break. That just got hit by a heli. Right? Is that gonna break? Oh, I just put down a key lock. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, I have everything I need to break the foundation. Fuck it. You might have some loot in that TC. Alright, what do we get? Uh, that was probably not worth the time. <laughs> oh, well. A little bit of extra scrap, I'll take. He is no longer door camping, we are good. Okay, we're doing alright, got 200 scrap. We're getting there, I am gonna need a lot though. But first though, it is definitely time for an airlock. Now, I'm building a pretty interesting base today. I'm adapting a design from uh, the last video, I don't know if you guys watched that. And I've made it my own, and I think you guys are gonna like it, it's really, really cool. Airlock down and the base was secure. It was back to mining outpost for some more scrap. The good thing is, pretty much every time I come to this mining outpost, there's gonna be people here that I can kill. That's just like the nature of full swipe, but it's good. It just means there's constant PvP, and they will always have a decent amount of scrap. I mean, look at that. 70 scrap, 2 seconds. You'll love to see it. And see, now for the start of full swipe, I will continue to do this for a bit of time. Slowly building up scrap run after run, until eventually I have enough for everything I need. Now, as you build up resources, of course, you should be upgrading your base accordingly. You never want to get raided for less boom than your base is worth. It's important to always have a clear goal in mind when you leave base. What are you trying to achieve on this run? If you need farm, head out with a pickaxe and farm nodes. Don't get distracted hunting for PvP, get your farm and get home. And that is so important for faster progression. Okay, farming run done. I want to do a quick recycle at mining outpost. I could do with some extra scrap cloth and metal. Uh, at this point, I'm going to recycle pretty much everything except pipes, because you always need pipes for things like revies and double barrels early game. I'm also not going to recycle too much at once, because there is a good chance of dying, and you don't want to lose everything in one run. Gotta skin the crossy as I go, of course. Go with the banana bow today. Alright, another 100 scrap, we get that back. Good wins. Up till this point, I hadn't needed to craft a tier 1, because I'd managed to snowball my way through the tier 1 weapons. But now, I was ready for some first blueprints. I crafted up the workbench, and researched the water pipe shotgun, an underrated but powerful primitive weapon. You know, I should probably get a furnace in this base now. I've been waiting a little bit too long for that.
Wait, I almost forgot. <laughs> Gotta get that panda bear rug. Whoa! Well, he just pulled that paddle out of his ass. What the fuck? Where, where did that come from? Lail. Uh oh. Oh, I'm so dead. There's a lot. Uh, I've got a lot. Ah, uh, how am I missing? Just throw a grenade. What the fuck? Ah, <laughs> oh, well, I wouldn't have put money on making that back alive. Hey, we got the second bear rug down. We are unstoppable. Well, we've already built up almost a tier 2, despite having to learn the pipe as well, which is not bad. And now equipped with a water pipe, I decided to go back to the cave to see if I could potentially regain control of the cave base. Ah, but is it decaying? Maybe? No, it's not. Um, they put some upkeep in there. That is a shame. I mean, I guess I could 10 satchel raid it, which might be worthwhile. But I will need to get the satchel BP first. And with even more loot built up in the base, it was now time to expand. Personally, I think playing on four swipe, it's always a good idea to build some type of bunker base. Without access to a garage door, at least for a while into wipe, to be more secure, you're gonna need the core strength that you get from having a bunker. And so today I'm building a compact solo bunker base that I adapted from Basu. That being said, I'm sure you can find lots of quality bunker designs on YouTube. Freedom! Perfect. Look at that, another six crates of mining outposts. It's honestly so OP on Fresh White Men. Full pop servers, just so good. There we go, another 100 scrap in less than a minute. Ah, there we go. Despite getting raided half an hour in, your boy's got enough for a tier 2. Not that I need it just yet, because I got a lot of BPs to learn, but this is a good start. Oh, we have food. Thank gosh. So, let's begin with the bunker. First up, you place a triangle frame and upgrade that to wood. Then we come down here, place a solid wall there, and extend out a square from that triangle. We then go with 11 total triangles. And then a square, and we build back the squares all the way along. Get rid of that triangle again. Place that square. Perfect. I think we're good. We then repeat the same with another 11 triangles out. And then backward squares again. And then off of this final square, we place two half walls. Like one. Wait, there's a train! Get the train! Wait, you got off. Poor guy. He had no idea. I don't know what he was doing, but I will take the ice pick. Okay, back to it. So, we place the half wall on top of there. And then... Ah, oh, I probably should have placed this triangle already, actually. Hmm. That might be a problem. Okay, place a frame on top of there. Triangle on top of that, like so. Okay, if I've done this all correctly... I should be able to bunker the top and the bottom. And now when I place that, the top and bottom bunker should... Oh, oh why does the bottom one not open? Uh, <laughs> oh, that's bad. <laughs> Your voice messed up. Okay, I can figure this out. So the top part works, but the bottom doesn't, which means there's too much stability on the bottom one, which means one of those walls is connected when it shouldn't be. And I think it's that one. Which means I need to place that wall without connecting it to the triangle that's already there. Ooh, why not two? Okay, so if I place a square there and then a triangle on that square, if I can then attach this wall to that outside triangle, I think this should work. Okay, right, now let's hope 
that this actually works. Okay, there's a Hazzy outside. And he's headshot. Come here, bitch. What the fuck? The guy was actually loaded. Why was he pushing my base with all that? Okay, here we go. Oh! Yes! I've done it! I've done it. Okay, perfect. So while the roof is there, I'm not able to place the bunker, which means placing that roof will break the bunker. Whew! Panic over. The bunker is working, ladies and gents. So I should be able to place it now, and then when I place the roof, that should open. Yes! Oh, we did it. We did it. And with the bunker working, my base was all ready for rockets to raid. It was time to get back to farming the players in our area. Oh, there was a ditch. That's annoying. Ah, fuck the bow. Come here. Oh, he missed the crossy. Easy. Boom. Give me that shit. Oh, I love that every single person I kill just has... has comps in this area. Alright, well, you know what? I could get a tier 2. I might just do it so I can start working on the tech tree and get myself a garage door. That's always like one of the first most important things you should do as a solo. Hey, we got the yogi. Needing to expand my base, it was time to go on a big node farming run. I took the ice pick and headed to a location that I thought would be a little bit safer to farm, the south of the map to a snowy peninsula. It's always important when choosing a base location to have access to somewhere that's going to have plenty of nodes. Night, night, sir. Right, do you have lots of farm for me? Oh, I was really hoping for a full inf. Oh my gosh, there's a war going on on the hill. What the fuck? I should probably go over to that. Oh, well, at least I got the farm home. Someone recycling. Come on, have some juice. What the fuck? Where is he? What's happened to me? That was weird. As another night time fell, it was definitely about time I upgraded my base. I was building up on resources, I was gonna need more protection. Now if you are freehanding your base, it's always a good idea to expand every raid path as equally as possible. There's no point having 50 doors to your tool cupboard when there's only one wall to the main loop. So always adding honeycomb is so important. Right, so the beautiful thing about this base is once I've honeycombed the core and upgraded the core to sheet metal, no matter what, even without garage doors, it's going to be at least 12 rockets to TC, which is insane for the first day of four swipe. I mean, no, no one's farming that. At least for you as a solo. <laughs> Unless you pull some shit off and piss off the biggest clan on the server. You know what? I think I want to properly utilize this double bunker. I'm going to have the entrance on the third floor. So if you raid this base through doors, you're going to have to go through two bunkers. Lovely. We got the lantern down. My favorite purchase in this game. And you know what? I think it's time for the level two workbench. I reckon I squeeze the level 2 in here. That can work. I might have to move it later on if I need more storage, but for now, that'll do. Now, I've recently kind of realized that fire arrows are actually really strong. And so I'm just going to learn them, and I'm going to try using them when I roam today. And just see how it goes. Hey, let's mark my home on the map. I kind of forgot they added these markers. Alright, there we go. We go home. <laughs> nice. Uh, what else can I mark? Maybe I'll mark the cave as well. I will name it Vengeance, because I will get my revenge. With a workbench level 2 now down, I was well underway on my day 1 progression. 
My next goal was to use the tech tree in the tier 2 to work my way down towards the garage door and the electric furnace. Two crucial blueprints for any successful solo player. Ah, oh, there it is, the start of where it all began. Wait, that naked's got a gun on his back. Oh, bro, he's so low. As he basing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What? How did that miss? Oh, there was a second one. Fuck. I actually so should have killed that first guy. Oh, that was my first death in like ages. Fuck when F1 killed. Wait. Oh my god, there's a big fight going on outside my base. Might be able to do something here. Ooh, Revy. Nope, fuck it. I'm going. I don't even care. I'm getting our revolver in base. Huh, that's my base. <laughs> I've lost. Woo! No! Oh, let's go. Huge. First gun of the wipe. It's a Revy. I'll take it. The perfect bridge weapon to get me to the tier 2 snowball. And just like that, I got my hands on my first proper weapon of the wipe. Personally, I don't think it's a good idea to spend scrap in the tech tree trying to learn guns. I think you should focus on getting guns through PvP and saving your scrap for more useful items like the garage door. Oh, that feels good. I feel like the revolver is such a perfect weapon for wipe day. It's nice and cheap, you can craft a bunch of them, but it has that potential to get you the best guns in the game. And I guarantee you this Revy is going to get me some places today, trust me. I feel like this is something a lot of people know, but if you have a gun and a bullet and you don't know which to learn first, Always learn the gun, because when you craft the gun, it comes with bullets loaded, which you can then unload, and then learn the bullets, like this. So even though I had no pistol ammo, I was still able to learn ammo and the gun. With the revolver acquired, it was time to head out and hunt down the players in my area. But because it was so early on into force, was still quite primitive. Hey yo, someone left a bear rug. That just fell over. There is another one. Two. Oh, this isn't good. Ah, I'm whiffing. Hit him three times. Okay, they are both one. Should be just a hazzy. Come on. Ooh, not bad. This guy quite a lot of cloth. God, it feels good having a Revy. Finally take control. Oh shit, no one ever looted the guy I killed. Nice. Give me that. Ooh, silencer. Might be helpful if I get a gun today. Bed! Oh, I'm getting that home. That's actually huge. Oh, fuck me. Ah, I missed my last shot. The guy was one. I'm hitting shots. Right, you know what? I think I'm just gonna bank this bed. I got dead. Ah! Yep, headshot. I'm definitely going back with the bed. Hey, let's go. Faster respawn. Bro, I am feeling that print today. Popping off. Not bad, it had some stone for me. Thank you very much. Furnaces have been cooking wonderfully, but I'm gonna need to get the electric furnace system set up pretty soon. The electric furnaces make so much difference to solos. He's been farming the road for sure. I really want to kill him. Fuck it. I'm gonna push. 
banging on the roof, I should win easily. Still alive? Oh my god. Not anymore though. Ooh, give me that, thank you. There's a train coming. Can I jump on that? Now. No! No! Fuck! I wanted to get on! Damn, man. Wait, stop. Ooh, I'm going, I'm going. I reckon that guy might be loaded. Wait, he sees me? What? Headshot. Oh! What is he doing? Oh, give me that farm. Yes, please. My 3k metal ore? For me? I am absolutely farming players today. My KD is through the roof. Right, come on, have some farm. Oh, I feel bad now. Alright, we got some wood. Furnaces go. Is that two or three people in the mining outpost? I think it's just two. I already want to fight this. Probably recycling. Oh, that's a bad start. He hits that. Okay, one dead. Three. It's not dead. You won't expect me on the roof now. Oh my god, there's another one here. Hackney's still not dead? Oh! What? Ha! Oh, that threw me off. Okay, one more. It should be one HP. Fuck it. Two HP! Bandage! Please! Oh! I'm good. They don't stop. They don't stop coming back. Oh, that's full swipe for you. I am out of here, man. I'm getting chased so hard. Oh, well, that was a good win. Bunch of prim shit. After the win, I headed straight back out to collect any leftover loot. This mining outpost is a fucking war zone, man. Wait, what? How did that miss? <laughs> you didn't know where I was. Well, how many people are there? Oh! What a headshot! Still two more. What to ah, there's a combo! Where is he? Oh, I didn't know where that little rat was, man. Edwin. Can combo grub. There's a little rat running away with my stuff. Ooh, maybe he lives on the base down here, actually. I think he must do. Huh, I don't know where he went. Oh, he's still here. I just saw him in the corner. Ooh. Thank you. That would be my Revy. Okay, Edwin, yeah, these these are a few guys. I think it's at least three. And I think they all live in that base on the water. Because these guys are definitely all together. I think the other two are this person, Lily, and a guy called Heidi. The fucking combo gang. Alright, time for some expansion. Definitely want an airlock up here. What I really want is to set up some electric furnaces. I think that would be huge. You ready for this? <laughs> the unmatched combo. Ah, bro, look at all the players, man. Actually, you know what? I think I want to expand that to a shooting floor, so I'm gonna leave that as wood. And break that out later on. 
Okay, now I have roof access. I'm just gonna seal up my second floor to make it a full bunker. I'm gonna put e-furnaces in that little triangle later on. Door on the top, and we good. We chillin'. Best base on the server. Oh my gosh, I'm finally gonna be able to get some more storage in here now. Let's go! Oh, it's beautiful. Boxes. Yes. Something important to note as a solo, playing on the first day of Force Wipe, is that you should be setting your expectations lower than you might think. See, Force Wipe is a grub fest. Anytime anyone hears a gun, the naked army swarms towards it, and playing solo in this harsh environment is pretty tough. You're not expected to be roaming AK by the end of the first day, and honestly, if you were, it would be pretty painful, as you'd probably be dying a lot. So what I say is, especially in the first day or two, take it slow, take it easy. Don't set too high expectations on yourself, and just try and have a good time and slowly progress throughout the wipe. And trust me, the guns will look after themselves later on. Hey, well, the bunker is upgraded to metal, the ceiling is high qual, I'm honeycombed, I can tank at least 12 rockets, probably more if they try and raid through doors, which people probably would. Like, you wouldn't see this base and raid it through walls, which is a big advantage for me. Basically, I'm pretty confident that I'm not going to get offlined tonight. Ah, fine. I will please you guys. Time to organize some boxes. Look at me go. Okay, well I think I am pretty much there. That being said, I don't have too much loot to organize, but for a few hours into Force Swipe, I think I'm doing pretty good. I got the tier 2, I got Revy, I got, I got a lot of stuff that I need. And the base is looking nice. Plus, I'm actually not far off the garage door. At this point, I had found my groove. I was running back and forward between mining outposts, not feeling too stressed, taking fights, winning and losing. And I was having a good time. Oh, this guy will have farm. Come on, please be loaded. Ah, not bad. Four gears. That's huge, actually. I need that. What? That's the best crate I've ever seen. Solar panel and a hazmat? Hell yeah. Alright, let's get this shit recycled. Nice. 135 scrap. That'll do. And now, with enough scrap built up, it was time to learn the most important blueprint for a solo player. The garage door. I must say, I think getting Garage Door on Wipe is one of the best feelings in Rust. What do you guys think? Oh, it's glorious. Oh, they finally changed it so you can place doors through boxes. Oh, I forgot. This is actually, like, life-changing. <laughs> Being able to place Garage Doors over boxes again. God, oh, man, it throws me back to the good old days of Rust. When did you guys get into Rust? Personally, I think I joined just before the workbench system. I mean, I remember the old nodes. Uh, I think it was like mid-2015, 2016, something like that. Long time ago. Ooh, that is a farmer. Did he just see me? I don't know that he did. He didn't. Ooh, that's an ice pick. I want it. Oh shit, Tommy! Huge! Go, 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 go! Wait, was that guy's name Marcel? That was the group that stole my cave! Ah, oh, that is some sweet revenge, I must say. A little bit of justice. And just like that, through a little bit of patience and willingness to stick it out through thick and thin, I'd got my first tier 2 gun of the wipe on day 1. And the cherry on top? It was from the group that raided me at the start. Someone coming down the road. He's farming. I want this. Oh, fuck! That was not one! No! 
last guy. Oh, my area is turning into a war zone, man. Who is this? Fucking lit. Yep, it's the compound bow boy. These guys are such rats, man. Are they door camping me? Yep, Heidi. I don't know how they're still running around naked comp bow. They've been doing it for hours. Oh, shit. What the hell? This is one of the group of three that I just bought. Fucking Heidi. Ooh, that's not good. I'm out of here. Go away, you bow grub. Probably Lily. Oh, get me in. Ooh. I need to get a better jump up for my base, man. That's so scuffed. Same guy, same compound bow. Oh my, a stack of arrows. These guys are so weird, man. Oh, dear. Oh, let's get that Tommy learned. You know what? I think that is a good place to call it for the first night of Force Mike. That's been a damn successful day. I've done everything I want to do. I'm fully set up for tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. I don't think I'll get offline raided. I don't think anyone's got the boom. But, either way, I guess you never know. And with that, it was time for me to call it a night. I learned the Thompson, sealed up the bunker with sheet metal, and went to sleep. And I would wake up to a bit of a surprise in the morning. Good morning. Oh. Oh. Well, it looks like my area has not died down in popularity since last night. I already see a player on the road. I guess we go for him? Nice one. Ooh, he headshot me. God damn. This guy might kill me. Okay, I guess this guy doesn't die. Is he dead? Oh, wait. No. Bruh. Oh, I'm so dead. Yeah, boys, better with that prim. Okay, good start to the morning. We won, won our first fight by Wilton. Okay, I bought something last night, and I, uh... <laughs> I want to try it. No one judge me. <laughs> that is so fucking stupid, man. Oh, just you wait. I am going to look damn glorious. Oh, it's magnificent. I'm going to be the... Flyest person on the server, man. <laughs> oh, do you think anyone will know it's me? I <laughs> do you think they might get an idea. Oh shit! The compo grubs finally expanded. God damn! Oh. God, that sun was blinding. Ooh. Is he dead? Oh, he's not. Oh, he is now. Don't touch this man. Ooh, not bad. Some good comp spawn. Good start. Huh? What in the world? Maybe my first shot in register. Oh, I am beaming. He is very dead. Alright, it's nice and early. Let's have a little explore of the launch site. Maybe get enough scrap for the electric furnace. I've literally just taken Bradley. I'm surprised there's no one else here, to be honest. I thought they would, uh, the grubs. I guess they're already dead.
fucking bears, man. I can't even kill one when I have a revolver. Well, that's gone. <laughs> Pipey wins in the mining outpost. Wilton again. After building up enough scrap in the early hours of the morning, I use the tech tree now to learn the electric furnace, a key tool to help any solo progress in the game. Alright, let's get these furnaces hooked up. It is time. I'm ready for it. I will slap one there and then put the other one next to it. The reason why I rotate them that way is because eventually I want to put the industrial shit like set up on them. So I think that's a nice way of doing it. Here's a tip for those of you that haven't yet set up the system. All you actually need is one solar panel, one battery, a small one will do, and a splitter. Just those three components wired up in circuit and you can power three electric furnaces all through the day and night. A really neat system. Hey, there we go. We got two running. And that is all hooked up to the solar panel. We're good. The reason why setting up this system is so important is because I can now cook metal all through the day and night without having to reset my furnaces or constantly farming wood. It's a great way of getting metal to help with building and upkeep. And now with my electric furnaces set up, I went on a quick farming run to get them filled up. This base decayed recently. Ah, someone beat me to it. Yeah, that's a shame. Looks like there might have been some. Oh. Saw? Oh, there are more. This is gonna be tough. That guy's taking so many hits. No! Oh, I could've won that, man. The guy just flopped. Oh, what the fuck? What's he doing? Why has he got so much stuff? Hey, we got our first double barrel of the wipe. I will take that. Fuck it, I'm getting that BP. Double barrel is insane. Getting 12 gauge too. Oof, gonna be good. Okay, that was good timing to leave. <laughs> wow. And now we get the DB. Another very, very helpful blueprint for a solo. Oh, I'm gonna wreck havoc now I've got a double barrel, man. <laughs> this is gonna be my area of the map. Oh, no. What? Wait, what? No, it's that same group, man. Why are they always outside my base? Ah, that was actually close. These guys are definitely gonna cause me some troubles. <laughs> come on, come on, you can do it, man. <laughs> I guess not, I guess not. <laughs> there you go, he got me. As the server came alive, my building location turned into more of a battlefield. The perfect time for a solo grub like myself to strike. What the fuck? 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh, there's more! Oh my god! What is this server? Give me MP5. I don't know how many I'm gonna have to kill. I died so fast, man. That was like one bullet. What the fuck? Why am I getting camped? That was a P2, I think. What is going on? P2. Shit, I can't get in my base. I'm gonna have to hide it there. Oh, why is the jump up so scuffed? Nah, I can do something here. This is good. This is good. Now, one dead. Do we one more? Dead. Oh my god, where do I even loot? Another one dead? Bro, what do I do? Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, this is so scuffed. Oh, yes. Oh my god, that was fucking chaos, man. Woo! There was so much loot left, but I mean, as you could hear, with so many gunshots outside, you've got to know when to just take what you can and get out of there. Like, there was no doubt that there are players coming back. This fight is not over. Yup. It's an MP5. Oh, fuck, I can see him, man. Oh, TV. Give me that. One shell. And a dream. And fun. No, I... What? No! No! Bro. One spear and a dream. Come here. Where are you? There's no way! <laughs> oh, there's no way! <laughs> that guy just got dunked on with that spear throw there. Well, that was a hell of a fight. I didn't get everything. And uh, that was a lot of stuff left over there, but uh, you know what? Got an MP5, got a couple Tommies, and a SAR. That was a big win for me. Now, as you can imagine, with any annoying trio group, is that they then proceeded to door camp me for the next half an hour because of the play I made on them. And in times like that, just take a break. Don't worry about it. Come back when they've got bored, because there's no point feeding them anything at all. <laughs> These guys are so weird, man. They've got, like, so many guns. I take, what, an MP5 and a couple Tommies? And they immediately come back, like, naked double barrel to just door camp me solidly. <laughs> but one thing I did get from that fight... Oh, yeah. The slug. Let's go, baby. We moving up in the world. Right, now where is that P2 that I threw? Did they find it? Surely they didn't find it, right? I feel like that... Nah, did they find it? Come on. Oh, nice. I was gonna say, I would've been surprised if they'd found that on the floor. I heard the group farming wood and thought I'd try and get some payback for the door camping shenanigans. That's one, two more. One more. What? No, bro, I deserve that. Four hits on the last guy. No, dude. After messing with this group enough, it was clear that I might become a raid target. That's why it's always important to continue upgrading your base as you go. And by getting my bunker to armored, meant that my base would be a minimum of 19 rockets to raid. Not bad for a solo. 
The base sucks, man. Bye bye. What do you mean? My base sucks. How dare he? Does he not know? Alright, I'm gonna take this MP5. I'm gonna go recycle my components. I feel good to roam with this gun because I don't, I'm not gonna learn it. Because I'm not really gonna bother crafting an MP5. Especially when I have a Tommy, so I might as well just use it. Right, since I'm actually one of the few kind of groups, well, people roaming with guns at the moment, I think I'm gonna get a silencer. I think it just gives me a better chance of keeping my head low and avoiding the grubs. Oh my god, this thing's a pea shooter with the silencer on it. Wow! Oh shit, these guys are recycling a lot. 12 gears? Oh, I'd be mad. Whoa, oh my god, that thing didn't die. Oh, this is MP5. Hey, that guy's metal. One dead. No, what? Bro, I got dropped by that second guy. God damn. Killed the first metal. As nighttime began to fall, I decided that I'd spend some time expanding my base once again. It was getting a little bit too cramped for all the loot that I was building up. I get to try out my new ducky skin. <laughs> Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> That's so stupid. But I love it. It's kind of cute. I'll keep it. Clear that out. Nice. Now we can build our shooting floor, which is going to be so cool. Oh yeah, this is going to be such a, a clean shooting floor. It's going to perfectly fit. We got the external peaks. We're looking good. You know what? I want here to be my access to like my roof roof. That'll look good. Alright, I want to see what this new door skin as well looks like, because I haven't tried this one yet. Oh. No, I actually kind of like that one. I like that more than the stone door. In fact, like, the way it contrasts with the stone is cool. I like that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> that poor door camper, man. Wait, why is, he, why is he door camping with all that stuff? What an idiot. I chose such a busy location, I swear. I've spent this entire white fighting off players. But honestly, it's not been too bad. It's not been too bad. Ooh. See, it's kind of worked out because I've been killing a lot of them. And so I've just been farming players for components. Alright, I've got to get out of here. I've just killed like every single player in this area. 
What a damn successful start to Force Wipe. I mean, I have probably farmed, what, 2,500? Maybe 3,000 scrap? I still have a bunch of comps left, too. Okay, no, no one question what's going on here. I'm just testing something I saw. <laughs> nah, this, <laughs> this is so stupid, man. Go on, go on. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, that is magnificent. Imagine if you could actually do this. That would be so cool. As in, like, if this was a legit part of building. <laughs> it's perfect. I love it. Now back in base, it was time to do some more organization. While organizing the base, I had noticed that my neighbors, down by the water, were trying to take heli. I thought I'd go over with a double barrel to see if I could make a play. I gotta go over and just see. I might be able to pull something off, who knows. Wait, no, what? Heli, what? Bro, why is it killing me? That makes no sense. No way the crates went in their compound. What is that? Oh, they got an M2? No, that is not good. Custom? I don't think that was one of them. I'm gonna get out of here with that. I'm just gonna get roof camped. Hello. Got some juice on him. Definitely want to get all of my honeycomb to metal. Is that my neighbors again? I think it might be. What? How is that guy not dead? Infinite health. There we go. Wonder. One more. Headshot? Oh my gosh. Revy going crazy. So low. I won't die. Oh my gosh, if I had a saw. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh my god, there are a lot of people in the mining outpost. Fuck it, I'm going for this. I got a custom. I back myself. Oh my, how many is it? That's three dead. Ow. Oh, I might be dead here. Is that all of them? <laughs> I don't even know where I killed them all. Oh my. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. A thousand cloth, 70 feet of rope. 
Might have actually forgotten the cloth. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing a body. Definitely killed another. Huh. Can't remember where. And after some final PvP, that was the end of my second day of Force Wipe. I think more than anything, what I wanted to show in this video is that you don't have to be the best in the game to progress as a solo. Patience, consistency, and strong will will get you pretty much as far as you need. All that said, I really hope you did enjoy. I will see you in the next one. Wiljam, out.